governs over the light beings. Yeah. And they're like watchers. They sort of watch over and guide over all of eternity. And they have blue flame eyes, right? And um they um yeah, that's that's what their role is. They they're like like they work with most predominantly light beings, but they they're also um just bodies of information for any of the other councils of light or physical beings just to provide them insights um they are prom- they 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 played a big role in when te- before terra got destroyed old terra um to tell the gods and goddesses of the time that there was a separation that happened um from god and eventually the separation is going to come after this whole universe and you have you have to and then so they can't influence anybody but they can give information so then the gods and goddesses were asking them information and then through the questions and answers they developed this plan to trap the density inside of our reality basically in this matrix but we are we're in that yeah, my story, so my story yeah. I, have, I have mentioned my story a little bit but i've got to mention it again because it's so it's so insane but uh, this just before this story i i've been trying to i realize now that the earth spiritual access is tilted out and that's why we're in 3d that's why we're low vibration and if we can tilt it back to its original format we're in new earth simple as that that's all we have to do that's what i've been told anyway and this was a story where one of the one of the healers sons had been started getting attacked and in what you know that's where we you're not asleep but you're not awake sort of thing it'd been dragged from upstairs into the living room by an unknown force so it was a bit crazy <laughs> so what i found out that his wife has got is pregnant and one of her dreams was a belly little star beings came in and basically lit the baby in other words the baby was a star child star you know star baby inside Mm -hmm. and it had woken the dark underneath the house and the old town was very dark Mm -hmm. so we went down three of us and we started uh we started clearly doing that love video that sophie did uh i started playing that on the phone but i started doing candle magic to clear and them two started doing the other two started doing smudging Mm-hmm. So we did it in the front room, but one room, the kitchen, and above it, where the bedroom is, you couldn't breathe. You literally could not breathe in there. You had to go in there. There's no oxygen. And the window was open. Still no oxygen, because it was that dense, the energy. Mm-hmm. So what we did, we ended up going in a circle in the, up, up, in the upstairs. I had my crystal bowl, you know, my favourite one. And it, it actually changed. See that there? Can you see that black there? That's never been there before. <laughs> That's the work. So I, I need to do a cleanse on that, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Probably. So we, we went in a circle. We started doing, I started doing light language. The woman started doing light language. And by bringing in pillars of light from our IF chakras, we created three vortexes around. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The three vortexes combined and it started bringing in our vibrational energy. And, now, this high vibrational energy was going into underneath us, basically. And what we what we tapped into, that the ley lines were dark. And the ley lines were all meeting up into, like, hexagonal symbols. So when you see ley lines, they actually have a meeting point every section. I always mm. thought they'd just go across, but they, they, have, they go into symbols. But this had been infiltrated when they took Earth. Mm-hmm. so we changed it i had the archangels to put they actually put swords into the ley lines and energized it but as we're doing this all of our souls started coming coming forward and started started escaping if you get what i mean we gave the dark beings under the under the in underneath us a chance to go back through a portal that the angels had created back home or we were just going to send them to source yeah. So in the end, we, we sent all the dark ones what stayed to source. But all of a sudden, you could feel the, the dense energy just getting lifted. 
Yeah. It's just dissip, dissip, dissipating. I could breathe again. Uh, mm. Since then, it's been clear. Absolutely been clear. But the old town got cleared. We thought we were doing the bedroom. We cleared the old town. And it was all the ley lines that was creating this, uh, like, like a prison underneath. Yeah, I noticed too that they've positioned churches on, on major ley line points and stuff like that. Mm. And as you go into these churches, they'll have like different like fear based like pictures and um, things and like sadness energies and all this stuff because they're pulling people's energies into these um grid points right yeah um so I, a bunch of us have been working on uh bringing in higher frequencies to those church points you know mm -hmm. that's why you, whenever you go into a church mostly it's always dense and it feels the energy feels off right yeah definitely um, unless it's an old pagan church and then it's a bit weird <laughs> so, yeah but if you, you know, go into like a like a hindu temple it's mm. very positive you know like yeah. they're because they're doing all these positive mantras and and everything like that right mantras are brilliant i agree mm -hmm. with that yeah. mm -hmm. I, I also another story i cleared a colony of spiritual parasites of someone mm -hmm. a colony not one or two the old body was keeping the person i'm alive. i'm really not surprised like because it was it's just it was so thick i've never felt such a thick dense um, over the last couple of weeks as this collective purge was happening. Um, and I, so I started channeling around it because once I was able to clear one of these fields, uh, another one came and I, I'm just like, like, what is this? And um, they're telling me this is like the demerging. This is the time of the ascension where the collective is demerging from these lower states. And like some of them are like wars. One of them was Genghis Kong timeline that you you might be you might be a little familiar with yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> so there, there's a lot of people who participated that on the planet right now um and this mogul energy like of demonic value um that was there back then has resurfaced now on the planet because of this coming out of the collective so that was a like a just huge dense field that we had to deal with on top of everything and um that's another one of the stories like it was just just craziest two weeks ever and then here i am i'm thinking we're done right <laughs> everything's finished finally right and then i had this one-to-one -one session yesterday and the customer comes on i'm not even kidding you like i'm feeling this is the first day like everything's clear in my chat like like everything is clear right it's just so clear um whereas like that, that whole that whole collective purge i think we got through it for the most part and then um the client in the one-to-one -one, she as soon as she longs on and she's like i'm sorry i don't know there's this energy on me and, and soon and i feel the same density the same heaviness that i've been transmuting i'm like not again <laughs> no not again but now but i had no warning of it right so i'm i'm just stuck in this field well, I have no choice. And it literally took me 45 minutes just to break the field down so I can create sacred space. And as soon as I get through that, I see Hades. I'm like, holy shit. Right. I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh my shit. I'm like, we're in trouble now. I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, oh my God, what am I going to do? Like, how do I tell the I can't tell the client this right now? Like, this is just going to freak her out. And I'm like, and then um, so what I end up doing. As I quickly, like, I, fi I finally had sacred space and um, I could see there was so much demonic energy in this field while I was breaking it down. But I had no choice because it's hitting me. It's it's all throughout their house. And I had no choice but to to just to break this field down. And finally, when I get sacred space and I see Hades um, and I, I I actually think we're fucked beyond like, I'm sorry, part of my English. <laughs> right but i actually thought we were like we're, we're screwed um but i drop into um my heart and i and I, I quickly find the divine mother and i'm like i'm like hades is here like what what am i supposed to do and uh and then she says you're gonna have to go to his heart like you can't fear this you just got to go to his heart and, and heal it and i'm like oh my god um <clears throat> so i follow this crazy it was like this cable of a cord like this big 
this big black cord that was attached to her for me. <laughs> it was huge, right? And if, if like, I go to it and I and I and I go right into Hades heart and I start like clearing it and it is his whole energy is just shit. Part of my French again, but this crap energy, right? This whole dense energy, right? And um, and uh, so after a point, I'm like, I can't do anything else to his heart. But and it's like I was able to release a lot of like consciousness and, uh, but it was still like wasn't on for whatever reason like his heart was just shut off and then but as this was going on all of a sudden like my whole vision's getting clear i'm seeing angels i'm seeing the heaven realm um and then i'm seeing yeshua and he's coming forward and he's got this golden key that has these little spiky edges all around it on the on the outside of the key almost looks like a skeleton key in a way but um not as big of an end and then all this little like angelic light language written on it and it was gold and i said what is this and he says well, it was the key to his heart so i quickly grab it shoot it into his heart then i open it up then i got to his divine spark then i went Boom. just like <laughs> shot his light up right up his crown and then right down his like bodies and then opened up his chakras and his fields just to, like to bring in this crazy light and uh, and it's still another half an hour after that moment still having to break down the destiny des retrieve all these souls that he was connected to clear these cores because he's connected to like everybody there's like so many i had to dissolve all these cords and then finally there was a point where he was just light and all of his impressions were just out of my mind all of these and, and i'm tuning in he's completely light and i knew that, and then of course they said yeah he's and then so we just rise him into the light after that and then I sit there and I look at the at the client, and I'm like, "But you feel a little different now, hey?" <laughs> <laughs> but she, but it was like this, like, bam! I totally got hit with this like field, right? Like it's like a surprise, poof! And like you got no choice but just to deal with it, basically, right? I, I bet you didn't tell it was time. <laughs> no, but she's hearing me like I'm going in an angelic tongue. I'm going in, I'm commanding all of his minions out, all of his density. I'm commanding everything into the light. Like I, I'm going like totally crazy, like uh, exorcist style. Um, it was, and we didn't record it because I didn't have a chance to record it. Literally, it, it was that crazy. It was just bam with this field. Um, and I'm like, oh my God, like, what, what, am I, what did I just log into? um it was in the beginning of it before i understood what was going on i'm like look man like if you, if you ever like realize something like this is like is happening you got to give me a little heads up <laughs> yeah so i can work on it before create some sacred space and you know maybe work uh, some higher self and just uh, to help ease into the call instead of just like like a grenade of density it, it's, it's like one of those moments that you're not expecting you just gotta go with it <laughs> that's it right mm. yeah well, you well, got any other stories of the last couple of weeks? Uh, I have. I, I just forget them. <laughs> I didn't do that many. Oh, yeah. Last night, uh, me and Dad did a, a conversation talk where people can give us a question and we talk about it. And one of them was uh, a ta uh, an island and it was bases, alien bases. And it's quite amazing. Uh, what else was there? Uh, da, 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 da. You know, we might be brain goes blank. Oh, uh, yeah, you tell a story. I'll try and remember. <laughs> um, one of the cool stories I have was like, um, within this, this whole time, um, I didn't know what to do, right? Like, I, I this is the first time i've been lost in the ascension and it's just like i i don't even i don't know how to how to like, what i'm supposed to do and it's all this um stuff that was going on and um i spiritually connected to this uh girl i know who's like one of the highest vibrational people i know named aria or tatiana and i'm like i need help i don't know how to like I don't even know how to deal with all this collective perch. I just don't know how to deal with it. And uh, her soul said, we need to find a hero, call Hercules, right? Um, so I start 
um, going through my heart because I've channeled Hercules before. And so I go through and I'm, and I'm reaching out to him. And um, I'm like, Hercules, if you can hear me, like when you, I need your help. I don't know. I don't know what to do. And um, 10 minutes go by. And um, all of a sudden, you know how sometimes the divine will give you songs in your head and stuff. All of a sudden, the I need a hero dun, 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 <laughs> comes in my head. I'm like, and then I'm like, oh, my God. I'm like, they're, they're sending uh, Hercules. Right. So and then all of a sudden Hercules says, I'm here, David. And uh, and I'm like, look, man, I don't know what to do. Thanks for help. Thanks for coming. But like, we need your help. Like, uh, And he says, don't don't worry, David, I'll take care of those moguls. Uh, and that's when I realized that the Genghis Kong. This was this part of it was the Genghis Khan um, collective field coming up, and then um, and then later on, Hercules to my mother, and um, um, kind of guided me through a process to to um, become the I am light, and then merge it with everybody's fields, and that was a huge breakthrough. I did this live on it, and um, it was a huge break, huge to break up and clear off a lot of densities off of everybody um across the planet so that was that was kind of a cool moment you know paging hercules uh <laughs> did you get your signature <laughs> you know it was funny because like the next day i thanked him and he just said look you guys are the heroes the light workers that's what he said I, I, so. i've got another story by the way so. okay perfect yeah uh i was at the evening center I'd, what I do when I do at the Ewing Centre, I, I create this light bed, like I mentioned. Yeah, I mean, like your med bed, but it's a light bed. So it's like, and halfway through, I always merge with my Lemurian healer. Mm -hmm. And this this day, uh, on Tuesday, an healer had come, but couldn't do any healing because she was ill. Tonya, we know Tonya anyway. And she ended up meditating on the bed next to us. And I was thinking in my head, it's a shame I couldn't send her some healing. But when I was back to her, she said she saw the Lemurian princess turn around, like turn around in my body and come out face forward, face from my back. Yeah. And started, he started healing her. That's cool. cool. <laughs> so she said it was, it was amazing. Amazing to see it, to be honest. To, to actually it's see so, her. It's so cool that you got that confirmation too, right? Yeah. We, we asked right. the second healer had seen it. So, but yeah. well, this time, uh, she actually came out of the back of me. <laughs> she must have turned around in me, but yeah. gone around the back and started healing her. And she said uh, she looked very alien, but they are aliens, Lemurians, aren't they? They, they don't yeah. look like us. But, uh, no, there's a whole b bunch of different kinds. A lot of people just think it's Palladians, but there's yeah. um, Lyrans and Syrian um, Lemurians. Uh, I, I also, uh, I did an event with uh, Robin and uh, Angel. And we went to the Lumorian temples, and uh, I'm supposed to be the one. I'm the Neil of the world. <laughs> That's what they said, not me. <laughs> the so, what of the world? I'm the one of the main ones here. So yes, I got that, but I didn't want to say it because it sounds ego, doesn't it? It sounds yeah. very. <laughs> so that was pretty yeah, cool. No, you're, you're one of the best I know. That's for sure. Right. I, I'm, where do I pay you? <laughs> you know what. <laughs> Um, hey, I bet five hundred. I bet five hundred. We're 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 gonna do is like we're going to um see who's got more spiritual dollars <laughs> on the other side and goodbye each other's spiritual drink. Well, uh, angelic world. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what's funny is uh, a lot of people here like want to go to ascension, but we come from outside ascension. We come here to get everyone else out of this sort of recycling spiritual dark energy to yeah. lift the earth yeah. yeah no it hasn't been easy either uh, i can't believe the last two weeks like this was just, mm. this was crazy this is a, at a whole other level <clears throat> every single tool i had i had to use and then some I, I don't know how anybody got, really got through it, to be honest with you. Like, I don't know what they would, would what they would have done. Like, I've literally used, used every gift I have just to get through it. And um, <clears throat> and then figuring out how to transmute all this stuff. Like, it's if I didn't know how to channel, if I didn't know how to do this and all these other things, like, I, I would just have no clue. I would have just thought I'm doomed. I said, I would have just been sitting there thinking, oh, 
guess we're doomed. <laughs> I'll I, I tell you one, one, we went on an event once, I never told you this. After the event, I went to bed and all he had in, in my head was like an Egyptian mechanism. And I couldn't get it out of my head. I literally couldn't get it out of my head. And it was like a clock. Uh, it just came came about now because I never told that story to anyone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So so what happens with these events? You you get things that you don't really expect, and sometimes it can take a while getting rid of them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Go. Well, there was a time I think when we went that might have been related to when we went um, and cleared off these curses within the um, halls of Amenti and on this ISIS sacrifice that happened and all these different things that like were hidden. Um, you remember they took her off planet and um, I think they took her to Mars. Do you remember we were like all of a sudden they took her to Mars and they actually sacrificed ISIS on Mars. You remember that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But one of, then, the one of the stories, Julia typical asked me last night, which, which beings have you got a crush on? And one of them was, uh, you get, which ones do you think they are, if you know? Well, obviously which, you're Androm Andromeda and Princess, right? Yeah, that was one. <laughs> yeah. And the other one was Isis. Oh, the, the, yeah, Isis, uh, which I think was so possessed, but because I went on an event and she tried to seduce me uh, in, in, the, in, in meditation, and I was thinking, wow, uh, but she knew me. So I'm sort of at an aspect there. So... <sighs> um, what do you fancy doing tonight, David? Uh, yeah, we'll figure it out. Just one sec. Everyone, he's not talking to his children. He's talking to <laughs> yes. Yeah, he's dog. talking to a spirit god next to him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm just thinking out of all the aspects. um venus um the goddess venus she's pretty uh seductive um energetically and um in, in feminine love energies uh no, it's not a crash i can, I can read your mind i read your mind yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. out of all of them uh she's she was she was probably the most alluring probably um but um I keep it platonic, all my spiritual connections. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember it was funny. Uh, this mm. person is telling me the story about how um, they were um, making love to the Divine Mother and everything like that. I'm like, it wasn't the Divine Mother, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> it might yeah. look like it. Might yeah. not look like it. Might yeah. not be inside. <laughs> <laughs> don't I said please just trust me don't make love don't make love to them just like it's the divine spirit is just there to help and to encourage and to lift up mm. anything that is sexual is um obviously Trick, is, trickster yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i got i had something at 15 like that trickster but i enjoyed it so <laughs> yeah well you know 15 year olds. Yeah. Uh, I, thought, I, yeah, thought I, yeah, walk, yeah. I thought I was going to walk on the wall, actually. I think I did something like that too when I was 13. <laughs> Just a lonely kid. Uh, say. Yeah, let, let's uh, leave that one. Yeah. You know, can we delete that out of the. <laughs> <laughs> 13, I don't know. When, when I was 13, yeah. yeah. I, was, um, uh, I think I was just asking for love. Um, just mm. I, I just wanted I never had a relationship not not, not at that time I anyway know. um just kind of it, it might have been all in my head I don't I don't know <laughs> yeah <go on>. mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> shall we see what you, you've on gone here? right <laughs> yeah I know I can't believe you got that out of me <laughs> <laughs> oh god it's no. so embarrassing Okay. To find the truth out of someone, admit your something you've done, and the other one says it as well. Yes. Yeah, yeah, no, it's true. Ah, uh, you know what though? I mean, you can't just be open about things. And, uh, what what are you hiding from, anyways? Right? Like, mm. exactly, yeah. it happened. It happens. Just where it is. Exactly. <sighs> All right. Well, let's figure out what we're supposed to do here today. 
And it's going to connect with the light. Pillars of light. I always wondered what you meant that until I've seen us. People used to say oh, the pillars of light come down when I'm doing healing. Well, um, who are you going to call in? I'm just... uh, oh, uh, one story before we do. Someone who'd add something into the blood, they, they, you know, they chakras, the 11 chakra, and is a door to your Akashic. It actually had an octopus on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to kill an octopus, but I was in the, a different aspect. So I'm calling in Crystal Source Everett. She's beautiful. You know, she's brilliant. And I might call in Raphael and Ernie. Uh, I'll call about four. And I'm just going to call it, yeah. It's all that is light over soul, higher self. Yeah. Archangels, Son of Masters, divinities, and councils. Amelia wants to join us. Jermaine wants to join us. Um, makes sense. Um, so, like, this didn't just happen in this reality. This happened in um, all realities. Um, so the infinity matrix was compromised because of this. So we actually, um, wh whatever we're doing with grid work, uh, clearing anything, we'll have to connect to the infinity and just make sure we cross it, the healing uh, over to all realities and timelines and dimensions. Um, so definitely we want to strengthen the crystal line network, bringing it to the grids again, clearing the ley lines, like you're saying. How dark these ley lines, I want to see, I want to see a glow. I, I want to see all the ley lines, white, flattened and right. Can't we just try and throw the earth back to its original well, blueprint? Yeah. Well, that's right. Oh, well, that'd just be too much further. Yeah. We're, we're approaching the time anyways. Get it all done. You remember the capstones that were in the pyramids and stuff? Yeah. I was thinking uh, of pyramids, huh? Yeah. So we can connect to the old capstone energies or really high crystalline frequency and just re-put them energetically. Into, into the ley lines. Yeah. And into and also into the tops of the pyramids again. Yeah. Are, the capstones were removed a long time ago. That's like gold crystal, isn't it? Yeah. After the infinity matrix, all timelines, dimensions, realities, all that we do. And the mountains and the uh, volcanoes and everything that's part of the uh, uh, grid network as well. I can feel that energy around me, around my body. Already. More so, uh, crystalline earth, the old Landala crystals. I'm trying to get them to connect to the ley lines.
Oh, sure is light. Um, mages, magicians, all of these sorcerers of the light of the past are connecting right now. So we're going to go ahead and clear out these ley lines. Yeah. These sorcerers. Mm -hmm. Light. Obviously, you know, Merlin's here, but so is um, a lot of the ancient Druids. Um, a lot of these um, ascended masters got like the uh, spark, the magic spark. Uh, they're reversing it's a lot of dark magic on the ley lines definitely and reversing them in the crystalline earth that connect that was disconnected from the ley lines on on a majority and that's what needs to be connected Right, so we'll reconnect um, the crystalline to the the grid networks, and yeah, yeah. I'm being drawn to a place in in, on, in like a, a base underneath that's actually powering up the ley lines with the dark magic. Uh, of course. It's reptilian. <clears throat> yeah. uh, reptilian energy. Not the normal kind of reptilian either, like the really gross um, fourth dimensional fear feeding they eat the fear energy off the people when they sleep the gross the really dense gross kind uh well let's just go ahead and light um uh, hold on let me just see what it was supposed to be i'm trying to work that one out yeah just to show you i was thinking of reversing it and doing it for us but it's not worth it to take it out. Um, a lot of the fear models run through the, the ley lines. Um, yeah. I'm just tracing their networks. This is on like a, uh, a US base, I think, somewhere. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm also told that part of it is connected to 4D as well, somehow. Yeah. Yeah. Just to show the uh, tech. Yeah. Good old missionaries in there. Go after all their hearts at the same time and just shoot light through them. Let's bring down some central sun energy over here too. I was thinking. I was thinking. I'm. I'm just bringing the team in. I forgot to bring them in before. They're going to help me. I just got I just got injured on my ankle. Sorry. 
<laughs> Quick. I'm going to actually change their code. I'm going to upgrade them to a source codex because they have their code in all their fields. Um, they're manipulating their own codes. I'm going to I'm going to reconnect them all to source codes. Uh, just this is. I know you're battling them and stuff like that, but I'm going to upgrade them to light and just be easier. Because when you heal their consciousness, it'll also heal the consciousness out of everybody as yeah. well. Um, who they're feeding off of who they're connected to and everything, right? Yeah. What we're actually doing in this base, we, we took over the plasma tech. We're going to send reverse it and send white light in the ley lines. Perfect. And then we'll destroy it. That's what we're going to do. So we there's going to be like a, a big injection of light from the ley lines. The lab going enough now, it's overloading. <laughs> Taking care of all these ships right now. So it's the killing ships. I do not like what we're doing. It's just been a wave going through the air. Uh, plasma tech, go. we're going to take it out now. <sighs> Energy bars, dragons. Maybe we brought a few dragons. Anybody's watching, you don't have to worry. We have this totally under control. They're not, nobody's attacking anybody here. They're tr not you. We, um, the, just think of them, they're like babies, right? Like the way I look at them, they're like baby consciousnesses. Like there's, yeah, there's like thousands of them, but it's just like holding a baby at the same time and bringing them back to the light. It's really. And they're younger, very much younger in their soul, like evolution. And... and they have zero power over anything of the light. Like they're just, that's why they, they go after people in their sleep because they can't do anything while somebody's awake. They just have zero power. They're just, they're basically um, like scavengers. Uh, so. I'm just trying to, not trying to, I'm just, I'm just bringing all, connecting all to the light, re reversing their own codexes, going back to source level, all their ships and everything. And it's all being taken care of and Phil's taking care of the technology side, reconnecting the grids. He had a couple of key things. He had people that were yeah. trying to stop him, but it's no problem. We totally have this under control. It's just been enormous energy flowed right through everywhere. Right through all the ley lines. And the ley lines have got like uh, symmetrical shapes now lighting up. The resonance tomorrow is going to be mad. Or well, later on today, sorry. Okay. Jump back at The dragons are just fireballing their place now. Okay. Now I'm just looking for ones that are hiding in dimensions. Clear them out. Bring them to the light. We're actually going into the connection with the 4D 
building. So I'll be doing a bit of destruction there, I think. Take now. Just sending in tons of energy into it now. Let's see if we can. I'm just trying to tilt this axis a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, anybody who's watching too, just as a reassurance, um, we're bringing divine light into your homes, clearing all your energies as well, so you don't have nothing to worry about. Um, zero, everything, you'll be more cleared after you watch this than you were when you watched it. And nothing is attaching to you. Um, this is a astral remote um, viewing mission. It's not like it's coming into your um, realm. I, I know people, some people are joining in on this and I can see you as well. Um, that's different, um, but you're also being cleared, so. Yeah, if, if anyone's watching this even on the replay or tomorrow or the next day, just join us because you'll come into this timeline. Oops, just had to kill some Earth Guardian is here. What's up? It's just energetic transformation of the grids and the Guardian Gatekeeper with the Crystalline Network. You are assisting revitalizing the signatures <clears throat> of the original ley lines. And I am assisting as well. Yeah. Okay. Uh, every the crystal source beams lighting up the grid. And she just brings it and then shoots energy into it. So this is going to be quite a powerful event. So that tilt's going a bit, going just all the way. It's going to new earth. Won't be tonight though, but it's getting so there. I'm gonna work on, while you're doing that, Phil, um, Divine Mother's telling me to work on bringing in a purity over everybody's neural networks to release yeah. the toxicity memories and impressions from these old grids out of your grids to clear your grids so you can be re-upgraded, um, have no memory, no attachment to these density grids. So we're clearing that out, everybody, out of your um, cellular memory, out of your grids, all time, dimensions, realities. I'm, a, I'm a going to pump some energy into the light grid. The light grid is your consciousness, and it's, I'm just going to try and clear your fear. Get out of this change. It's felt that. Uh, This energy, if you've got any problems, just focus on it. And Michael's assisting <laughs> on Pegasus. <laughs> Okay, now we're gonna connect uh, around the earth as well <clears throat> with some solar beings when they're coming in. So many mortals, <clears throat> living deities. And we're just gonna start funneling an energy around the earth right now as well. Of solar, crystalline, diamond light to help fill out. 
Right, since I let that down, the, the crystal, Lemurian crystals underneath. Become a light grid. I mean, I'll become a light grid. All right. Um, so everybody is getting frequency keys right now for new frequencies coming in um, across the planet. Every human being is going to receive a new frequency, uh, a higher frequency coming in, a crystalline frequency coming in for everybody. You might feel aches and pains on your structure because part of you might be starting to come crystalline, especially your Kundalini sort of thing. Hmm. All right, this is good. Um... Um, I'm getting that we're um, completing right now. What are you seeing? Anything else, Phil? To do? I'm just seeing the uh, ever just lighting up the grids mm -hmm. and uh, the vortex energy field going into the uh, light grid to Near Earth try and uh, help people's consciousness. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see if there's anything else I can do here. Yeah, I'm complete. Yeah, I think the work's nearly done. Yeah, that's definitely what Apart from the pain in my ankle. <laughs> uh, let's um, send our gratitude to all the families of light, um, all the DDs, light beings, angels, guides that came to assist today. We send our gratitude for the liberation consciousness of this planet. We thank you for your support. Thanking anyone who helped, who came with us. Mm -hmm. um, if anybody needs a ground, you can just breathe the crystalline energies through the crown, through all chakras. Exhale and melt the soles of your feet. You and just ground the crystalline frequencies into Gaia. We can do a grounding code as well. Enhance amplified span. Grounding, 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 grounding. Grounding, grounding, and um, some may through the upgrade feel their heart accelerate because it's a very high frequency. It's totally normal. Um, just breathing calm into the heart and exhale calm and breathing calm into the heart and exhale calm until your heart is slowed down. This will slow your heart rate down. And even though the light is very high, it will keep the calm heart. And when your heart is calm, everything is fine. So you just keep breathing in calm, exhaling calm. And your heart is just going nice and slow, even through the crystalline upgrade. Mm -hmm. I'm going, I'm going, I'm bringing in all humanity, central sun energy into the auric field to build you up to lift your vibration. Mm -hmm. This was actually a pretty uh, important mission. You know, you never know what's going to happen, but um, I've seen those beings with my two eyes. That type of reptilian being one time woke me up. I'm having nightmares, right? And it was the most disgusting thing I've ever seen in my life. One of the most disgusting things. Were you 13 at the time? No. The nice, <laughs> nice one. For, thanks for bringing that back up again. Um, <laughs> so it was like two years ago and um i'm having these nightmares and i wake up and i see this gross looking reptilian like demonic value being like this really slimy ones they have horrible faces don't they? yeah they're just just they're disgusting yeah. they yeah. almost look like they have like little like things coming under their mouth and he's going like this 
Mm. And he's like feeding in dark code. So I have nightmares. And then he's eating. Is it the one with suckers? Yeah. Like yes. tentacle yes. suckers yes. here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. They're nasty. So, they're so <laughs> gross, right? <laughs> And then he's eating the energy, <laughs> right? So he's feeding in dark code, and then so I'm giving nightmares so he can eat the, the. And I'm looking at him, and I'm just about to puke. I'm like, immediately I, I bring him into the light, like two seconds. I'm like, no, this ain't happening. And it was shortly after that that I said to the divine mother, I'm like, look, I, I'm not going to accept this. Like this is just, I'm I'm never going to allow this to happen again. And she's like, you can upgrade your codex, you know. So they can't hijack your code codec. And then so, and Divine Mother showed me how to do that. Never had problems, but it was that kind of reptilian energy that was in that base. But when that, people, uh, yeah, when people are, have been uh, given their codex, or given their password inside, I change their codex. So, so actually, so it stops them possessing them sort of thing. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, you have to. I mean, but I mean, a lot of people, some people might be watching, well, how do I upgrade my codex? And it's like, um, you can go into the Akashic on the 11th chakra, get yeah, your book and just change it. Join one of Phil's healing lives or something, <laughs> live events or uh, give us you, a you know, You know what I have done? What? I went into someone's Akashic and they had an experience, you know, a serious experience. Mm -hmm. I rubbed it out. <laughs> Rubbed it out. Nah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm doing wrong doing that. Okay. You so know, you went like, into their and they had like a right, what experience? Th they've got an experience to, to be earlier. You know, that serious illness. Oh, um, you're, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They've yeah, yeah, already yeah. been ill. Uh, they don't want it now. The human form doesn't want it. So just get a rubber. Just rub it out. <laughs> Take it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't think it's wrong. So. I don't think so. I think right now all uh, bets are off when it comes to old 3D contracts because we're yeah. we're moving into the fifth density, right? So, yeah. Um, from everything I've told, all you can do anything that is to help raise people's fields of light and raise your consciousness, mm. like from a higher self to help any soul, any being on the planet. There's no limits at this point. You're not interfering with uh, the soul's. Um, um, hey, well, if you're, the look, if it's for because... the higher good. Yeah, because I'm a walker and I haven't got any contracts. I can do anything I want. <laughs> I haven't yeah. signed up to anything. So. Mm -hmm. so that was quite good, uh, though. I enjoyed that. Have enjoyed you got any further energy. on the lotto lately? Yeah. Have you tried? You get more than this? Uh, I got a tenner today, I think. Uh, yeah. yeah. That's funny. Well, maybe after this one, you'll, they'll finally give you. You know what they're gonna do, right? They're gonna give you a winning lottery ticket and then the ascension's gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be stuck down here and everyone. Yeah. <laughs> I've got my lotto. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. No, no, I'm staying. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna spend it first. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, the the healing event I did last week with Dale and Rick, seven hours. Yeah. One, 1 a.m. it finished. I thought we could have done the Australian one as well. <laughs> Just That's carry crazy. on. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, your healing events are epic. People don't realize it takes days to, to recover from something like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. and when I finished and go to bed on my head, it's just going boom, boom, you know, like pounding, mm. pounding. It's mm. crazy. Yeah. Yeah, those, um, I don't like, I don't, I, for me, like, um, if I have almost like a straight day of one-to-one -one sessions, like, um, for me, like I'm holding so much light that I have to like, um, ground and ground and ground and ground and ground. People don't even realize that, but like, uh, but yeah, sometimes I'm grounding for like 12 hours straight. <laughs> The people used to tell me that the, you ground with your root chakra, and I was starting to think, well, your root chakra is in the middle. What's under your feet? In 2D? And it's tig uh, tiger's eye. It's your grounding crystal for 2D. So you use tiger eye to ground yourself. I used to think it was red root chakra. Still have been Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the more the more that you like, yeah, as you know it, right? The more that you're tuning in, the more that you're bringing in frequency, 
energy, like the more light that you're going to have to end up grounding afterwards. You do I've, one of your. I've started bringing in galactic chakras. So mm -hmm. I'm going in quite high densities now. Mm -hmm. But I've, yeah. I've, I, I can only use that energy if I'm healing someone who's quite awake. Mm -hmm. If they're not awake, I don't think they could hold the light if you go what I mean, it's too strong. Oh, no, yeah. You got to be careful. Yeah. What you, um, you bring in for sure. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll uh, we'll sign off. What is it? Uh, Three a.m. Where you are? Two a.m. or two a.m. Two a.m. It's Sunday morning anyway. Yeah, we'll have a beautiful sleep at some point. Um, <laughs> and uh, if you're not subscribed to Phil's YouTube, don't forget to link, like, and subscribe. Yeah. Right. We didn't get we didn't get many watching this today. Yeah. Well, no, I'm sure there will be more in the replay. Yeah. Still five hundred. Cool. I think if I get a thousand, I might earn 20p of Jay. <laughs> yeah, awesome. <laughs> what are you doing at the moment, by the way? On this uh, uh, new courses that you, you're looking at? Oh, yeah, yeah. I should be ready to launch um, hopefully within within two weeks. It's just, it's very yeah. particular. You, you, you said that last time. <laughs> I know. I know. It's just, there's always more. And it's like, I'm, I'm not doing it without everything being perfect like yeah. when it once it launches it's just going to be um everything's just going to be perfect and there's yeah. so much that goes into it um there's so many things that are happening with it like um one of the cool things that people are going to be able to do is uh, a test your vibration quiz i, I wouldn't mind doing that <laughs> yeah no it's cool yeah it's um it's based on the Hawkins scale of consciousness, which goes from like lowest to of shame and guilt at the lowest levels to um, I got this wasp in my house out of nowhere. It's so <laughs> big too. It's like, whoa. Um, you know, yesterday, you just reminded me yesterday, I thought I'll have a bath just before teaching martial arts and relax. And I'm there lying down and right next to me, that far, was a wasp looking at me and I thought <laughs> you've got to be joking <laughs> <laughs> I am not going to be merciful on that wasp but That's it was so just funny. looking at me and then it started attacking me and I was thinking I just want a relaxing bath so carry on Dave sorry for that yeah no that's fine I'm just seeing all these up I've got a photo of the wasp I'll show you <laughs> that's too funny well I'm probably gonna take uh see what the kids are up to I think I've been um I gotta go you've check had, on them. They're you've probably, had the pizza. There is that we had that earlier. Yeah, I gotta check on the dog, check on the kids, do all this wonderful stuff. How, so. how is your dog? Is your dog being all right? Yeah, yeah, she's way better now. She's like very almost a hundred percent outside to the bathroom. I got her her uh, new harness because she was choking because she's got so much energy. She she tries to shoot and like and pull you with the leash and stuff you know like and so i'm trying to get her teach her to walk slowly but she's still always just a little bit and, and it's driving me nuts because like i can't stand it here choking yeah you know i used to do we were us. i used to the walls here i used to go closer to the door to the wall till it used to bang his head on the wall and then it starts slowing back but you've got to be hard face sometimes with dogs yeah yeah they, they want to be the rulers don't they half the time yeah well, they do, yeah. But she's good now. She's got like a 